Hey guys, Singapore mobile operators. Ah, oh, what a nightmare. Um, I'm with StarHub and I was recommended StarHub by um, a network engineer who does 4G stuff. So I'm with StarHub and um, and I've been with them for a year actually. So we came, my wife and I came back from Malaysia. We knew that our contract was up because it's been a year since we've been with them. To be honest, it's been okay. But every time we, every time there's some sort of customer service sort of thing going on with them, it's a bit of a nightmare. And um, for, case in point, we got back from Malaysia. Our contract is out, so we we were thinking we need to recontract because because um, we heard that we were on a rolling contract. And and funny enough, when you on a rolling contract, your your uh, subscription goes up twenty percent. So they sort of re reward you for being a loyal customer for a year by jacking it up by 20%. And also we needed to pay a bill. Um, so anyway, we, we, we go into um, the StarHub uh, shop in Bugis and they say we can't even pay the bill there, have to pay it online. And furthermore, um, if, if we want to recontract, then we'll lose our number. I, I can't believe that's true. But anyway, then I come across then I come across um, a new thing here, SIM only, new, see that? So right now I can tell you, oops, I can tell you that I'm on this 4G3 plan and my wife and I are paying $42.90 and I think we also have um, caller display which costs a bit extra. I, I'll link my old StarHub blog to explain it. So I'm pa we're paying about, uh, round it up, round it up, round it up, $100 altogether. Then the SIM only thing comes along, and yeah, we 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 this is what we use. We the SIM only. We we were like confused. Like, well, we only had SIM only. We didn't get the mobile phone. We have our own phones. So, so basically, I'm really confused because the um, I think other Singaporeans seem to think that we should have got a, a free phone when we signed up on this contract a year ago, but we didn't. We just have our own phones. So now they have a SIM only, which we. Th we thought we were on for twenty one dollars forty five, like half the price. Like, whoa, we're going for this. We're we're definitely going for this. So we we um, um I have some screenshots here about the sign up process. Their website is very 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 slow. It's full of bugs. It doesn't work on Firefox. You have to use Chrome. So now I'm like checking my eligibility. Yeah yeah, I'm really excited. And then I'm like choosing my new sim only plan 4g it's the same price as the old one uh what um anyway cut to the chase if you follow up this one thing and um at the bottom of the page if you can see that greater monthly subscription fees are shown before discount click here to see the price so basically um clicking here brings you back to this page so so now you have to like take a leap of faith when you click this next button which is also hard to find and then um then you go like um right i uh, uh before discount okay it's the weirdest sort of th sale i've ever made it's like i'm having to like agree to to um a price that i, I don't even i can't even see uh this is extraordinary and then um don't forget there's a ten dollar seventy charge for 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 changing your your plan and um, i would have actually gone for for more uh, for 4g but it's not clear if 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 um, i mean uh four gigabyte allowance but it's not clear whether that constitutes an upgrade or not because obviously i'm hoping to pay half the price i i was Previously, <sighs> wow, what 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 a process, and um, yeah, then now it says two working days, two working days, right? Oh my gosh, what other things are quite funny? Um, oh, we also noticed while we we're doing this is that they they had a, a little thing to say. Oh, you can go for a recurring credit card payment because previously, if you wanted to pay StarHub a regular amount, you had to set up a gyro. But we've been honestly trying to set up this gyro for a whole year and, and not succeeding. Um, well, it, it is a bit more complicated than that because we set up a gyro and then we changed bank accounts. And then, uh, 
And then we've been struggling to pay a bill, in, not because we can't, but we, we just uh, telling StarHub that we, uh, anyway. So we were like really excited. Oh my gosh, we can do this by credit card. It'd be so much easier. And then uh, they want us to fill in this form. I mean, it's just like no difference to the process with gyro. It's like, oh my gosh, you've just taken a really bad process with gyro and you've put it with credit card payments. Well done. <sighs> My rants is still not finished. Okay, StarHub do have a Twitter presence. Well done, you're on Twitter, awesome. Uh, Singtel and M1 I don't think it really are. I actually, Singtel are, but anyway. Every time, but I just wanted to bemoan, every time there is a problem, like we had a service outage, and you and you message them, they go, um, hi Kai, let us get back to you, like three hours later. And then by the time they get back to you, or they, they rather don't, uh, many hours later, you just like go, well, now it works. And you guys didn't respond to the thing over the last, you know, million hours. And then they go, oh, thank you for the update. I mean, the, the customer service is just so useless. Okay, I'm finished my run. I'm sorry. Oh, Starhub. I really hope the sim only plan. I really hope, actually, ultimately. I don't get me started on their prepaid thing where you have to use 100 gigabytes before you can use 4G. Don't get me started by that. But anyway, I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping that that we are going to have half the price for a contract. Please. <laughs> please. 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 